Hey, welcome to Kairos House today. We've got possibly the last video before the bike is built. So we've got wheels ready to go. They just need um, their bearing service. Frame ready to go. Um, I've attached the rear derailleur. I've attached my uh, dual race crank and front derailleur. Handlebars ready, the Aerofly bars, um, and my s work stem, 110 mil. Uh, forks ready with my crown race on the top, just had that fitted. Seat post is ready, I had to cut it down because it was too long. Um, using the measurement from my uh, bike fit. And then we've got the box of goodies. Box of goodies contains 160mm rotor for the front. I may change to 140. I'm not sure. 140 rotor for the rear. Uh, a bag of Yolio bits, which includes a headset, um, some rubber bungs and stuff, and also got some spacers um, for my uh, under and over my stem if I need any. Um, in here we have uh, junction A for handlebars. That will be front brake, uh, sorry, front caliper. Rear caliper. Some bits of paper. Front brake line. Some E-tube wires that I may need. Um, I think that one is 600 and those are just shorter. I've got my through axles, which are DT Swiss. I'm not using the earlier ones. Left shifter, right shifter in the bag. And that's the bits for you know, the brakes. Yeah, to do the brakes. Internal battery and the wireless unit. So, who knew how much stuff you needed to uh, make a bike up? You know, all this stuff, extra stuff. So what I might do um, now, not now, but in the, uh, once I put all those goodies back in, what I'm gonna do today is just uh, put the bike together Put everything on and then we can have a, a pretty uh, a, an overview of what it's going to look like um, ish the right heights and everything I'm not sure about the um, how high my bars are going to sit I'll probably have to have a bike fit for that um, completely different geometry to my last bike um, so we'll put it together and then we will see what it looks like Okay, so we're back. This is the first look at the bike. Okay, I haven't put the disc rotors on or the brakes. Um, I'm gonna let the local bike shop do that. But this is what it's gonna be looking like. I have to say, that looks awesome. Let's have a little look around. So, um, these, um, DT Swiss uh, through axles have got a release uh, detachable head, so it just looks like a bolt. And uh, both of them have. So we've got my 60 mil rims with the Grand Prix 4000 S2s. As I said, I'm going to have a service on the um, hubs there because I haven't touched the bearing since I got those probably two years ago. Um, there we go, seat post is cut down. It's not tight um, because I need to ask the bike shop to secure the battery in there. At the moment, the cable's just loose inside the seat tube. And um, that is the uh, seat clamp which comes. Um, I'm riding a, a power saddle, 143. Um, I moved from a Roman Evo, then I tried a tube or toupee, however you want to say it, not toupee, <laughs> that'd be stupid, 
but two, and that didn't work. And this one, because it's short and wide, and um, I found that worked for me quite well. So obviously it's it needs a clean up, and I'll do that when it gets back home from the bike shop. But um, we've got the we've got my sorry about the background. Um, we've got my stand here. Um, I just turned it over because I used to ride it up the other way just so I can kind of make it look like a venge, really. Because I quite like the venge bias, but I'm not sure I've got enough money for that frame set at 2000 or £3,000, whatever it is. So, um, from the front you can see the Aerofly bars. Let me just take that chair out of the way. And my jacket, which I've just dropped on the floor. Let's just get that out of the way. So, from the front, I just like the Aerofly um, look. Yeah. I mean, they're not, nothing's um, threaded yet. As you can see, um, all the cables are just wrapped around. But I like that. Uh, let's just straight, straighten that up. I like that look. It kind of reminds me of the Venge. Sorry, I got the hiccups. The Venge. So, um, um, that is how it's looking. It looks wonderful. I did sit on it just to see the the um, length. Yeah, I probably have to drop my seat back a little. I would say. Um, uh, just to get my knee over axle. But um, not that much. I was quite surprised, you know, being it's an aero frame and, I've, and the seat looks further forward. Sorry, the seat, the saddle looks further forward or the uh, seat post than my um, Specialized Rebay. But uh, that is looking nice. So obviously I'll have the levers out here, which will uh, give me a, some nice look. Oh, I need some bar tape. Yeah, I've got some. I forgot my bar tape. I've got some in the garage. I'll um, fit that. So, uh, clearance is that. Yeah, with the, with the Continental Grand Prix. Um, the guy from Oz Cycles um, said these are oval. So 28 on another brand would probably fit, but um, yeah, we've probably got four mil there. Thinking four or five mil. Same on, same down there. So uh, that's not too bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's not all set at the moment. When I lift it up, I know not everything's on it, but that's already lighter than my Specialized, so. Um, yeah, I've just left this cable hanging off so the bike shop can uh, put something in that hole that comes out the back of the frame. Um, that's not lining up, you see. There's a, it, needs, um, it needs adjusting. See how it's out too much. Uh, but yes, I'm very happy with how it looks. And I think right after this video, it's going to the bike shop now. because I'm on holiday next week. So I'll just say to uh, Steve down at the bike shop, whenever you've got time, just start putting that together. And then when it's finished, call me in for the uh, bike fit. And then we can sort out this steerer tube and the height of the handlebars and um, because the last bike fit I had, I was using uh, mountain bike pedals and mountain bike shoes, but I've since moved to road. All oh, those pedals need uh, service as well. I've never serviced them. They're a bit bindy. So, uh, yeah, they're gonna need a service. So pedals will need a service and wheel, uh, wheel, wheel bearings, hub bearings. So, um, that, is that lovely looking bike I love the profile of it look how thin it is it's ridiculous yeah 
love the little Venge, Venge-esque handlebars there. Right, so that could be the final video before it's done. I'll then try and release some more um, when I'm on holiday next week. So, like and subscribe if you like that video. And leave some comments for me. It's good to chat to you all. And thanks for following me on this journey. This has been a cool one. Take care. Bye.